We really went from this. To this. Now I think that right there would be what is called a thong. But let's give Cardi the benefit of the doubt. Never mind. That would definitely be a thong. Now I want everyone to know this is a judgment free video. Even though this may go against some of your guys morals, please bear with me. We're here to really see what happened with these two. There's a reason these two could wait 3-4 years to drop and everyone will still be waiting. That's, that's the greatest song I ever heard in my life. I've never heard a song better than that. This shit, is this shit is so bad. These two changed the culture. They were the trendsetters. You know, I ain't gonna lie. We what you call a mumble rapper. <laughs> Just yeah. So you say yeah after everything and make it wrong. You guys already know how many mumble rappers came after these two. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Tim, 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 Tim. He was wishing for a burner. Kill everybody walking. Life, whoa. Trap life, whoa. Now obviously Uzi and Cardi weren't the first two mumble rappers. There was the Migos, there was Future, there was Young Thug. They were all before Cardi and Uzi. But Cardi and Uzi elevated it to a whole new level. Then flash forward to now there's even more mumble rappers. The mumble rap genre is so saturated. You have no idea what any of these rappers are saying now. Now the music it does sound good, yeah, but when it comes to lyrics, you know, the people from back in the day that used to use lyrics and the rhymes and used to care about putting lyrics together and being a good lyricist, they will look at music now, you know, the old heads we call them, and they hate it. That's what's wrong right now, everybody trying to rap the same style with the, uh, I don't know who created it, if it was Future or Migos, but all the sound the same. Now let's flash back to the 2016-2017 days, in 2016 Cardi and Uzi dropped their single Left Right before they went on their first tour together. Now this was just a little nine city tour they had together where they gained a lot more fans and of course we get a flowers drop that year on Uzi's tape. That gained the duo even more fans and then we flash forward to 2017 Uzi hops on Cardi's single looking. They gon' feel this shit, ooh, driving like on drone, ooh, but I'm off that lane, ooh, chopper with the stick, stick, and it got the kick, hey, Uzu, got a gun lot of stop, kick, stop playing make me. you do back flip, and of course woke up like this, yeah, that's that dirty, that's that dirty, that girl all up in my face like she ain't try to swerve me, then we go to September 2017, break the bank drops that was supposed to be on their joint 1629 album, break the bank, I'ma break the bank, I'ma break the bank, I'ma break the bank, Cardi actually announced the 1629 album tour with him and Uzi, but Uzi dropped out and the album was never released. But they teamed up again later in 2018 for Shooter. She 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 on Cardi's first official studio album. Let's see a gainer, Grandpa. No, not this. But if we look at both the rappers individually now, since then, they have changed a lot. Like, I wouldn't think Broke Boy Cardi would be doing this. Okay, maybe that's a stretch here. You know, he's just posing for the live. It doesn't look like he's posting like a bad bitch on Instagram or anything like that. Well, maybe a little bit, but I'm not even worried about that, Cardi. You know what I'm saying? Do you. But explain this. Listen, like I said, judgment-free video, but Cardi fans, you have to explain this. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, judgment-free video. If Cardi wants to twerk on stage, you know what I'm saying? You guys are going to be cool with it regardless. Cardi could goddamn pull his pants down and show you guys his rumper. You guys would be cool with that. I've seen the My Anaconda Don't video, you know what I'm saying? Every young boy has seen that video, and Nicki Minaj is the only girl rapper or just rapper in general, you know what I'm saying? All rappers fall in one class that twerks like that, you know what I'm saying? Throws it back like that. Cardi B, Lotto, Meg Thee Stallion, I could keep going on for days. But bro, Cardi, 
You're not Ice Spice, bro. We're gonna get the Uzi in a minute, but when did this dude Cardi become so damn demonic? It was just out of nowhere. You got your die lit Cardi in 2018, then here comes 2020, bro. Basically turned into the devil. New maps of hell T. Interesting. Falling in reverse. Well, that would mean you're going down there, not up. Damn, you want to go to hell bad. Now let's get the Uzi, which Cardi must have learned the whole demonic thing from Uzi because Uzi's been doing this for a minute, the whole demonic stuff, since like 2017, 2018. He even told his fans that they were all going to go to hell. Everybody start screaming and saying, oh, like I told y'all earlier, you motherfuckers enter the rapture. And if ain't nobody flying up to heaven right now, obviously all y'all motherfuckers going to hell. Right with me. I believe in God. I don't know about <laughs> that stuff, man. Oh, you already here. I'm so sorry. You can't get out. You're stuck. It's over. You heard the song a million times and you didn't even know. So what's changed about Uzi? He's always been demonic. What has really changed about Lil Uzi Vert? Well, would you expect Uzi from here? Always on there, boy. Just out here chilling. Enjoying under the influence tour. You already know. Everything on my head. With my man right here. You already know. To be doing all this. So I guess this is the new thing here in 2024, men rocking purses. He really looks like someone's granny rushing into the store before they close. He even had an announcement he wanted to tell his fans at this year's most recent Coachella. Tell y'all a real important secret. I've been holding this in for a very long time, man. What I want to tell y'all tonight is... I'm gay. All right, he didn't actually say that. That was just some editing mistake on my part. I can't even get that out of the video, so I'm gonna have to keep that in the video. But he actually said this right here. I love y'all. So here's one of the clips everyone's talking about. You know, they're saying Lil Uzi, more like Lil Fruity. And he came up with this new dance move that is a little, you know, it's a little on the sus in the things. You know what I'm saying? We were all cool with the shoulder roll Uzi. You know what I'm saying? Shoulder roll Uzi was cool. Then he came in with, you know, hitting his hips and smacking his hips. You know, we were cool with that too. This freaky ass little dude, bro. Listen, I need someone to just explain what this is. What's this dance move? Is this called the strokes? Is this called the air strokes? F the ghost? What is this called? Oh, hell no. Judgment free video, bro. Bro. Listen. Uzi fans. I'm not judging. But like, like, listen, he, he should have just came out on stage. I'm going to be honest, bro. He should have just said I'm gay on stage. You know what I'm saying? He was obviously hinting at it. You know what I mean? He was trying to troll. Bro, listen. Are they are they faking gay for the views, the money, the fame? Or is he actually gay? And there ain't nothing wrong with him being gay. I mean, I, I don't think he's actually gay. If you're doing this right here seriously. Oh, yeah. You want to be a bad bitch. For the record, I don't think Uzi's homosexual or whatever. I don't even think he's curious. I think Uzi was sitting back watching cardi wearing that thong and he said what this mother is trying to out gay me that's seriously what i think is that uzi and cardi they're just having a gay off you know what i'm saying competition on who can act the most gay because there's no way you go from rapping about hoes and all that to doing this or maybe you could say they always been like this and back then they were just faking and they were never like the way they were back then they always been well the word would be gay what we're gonna use but why can't these rappers just be like tyler the creator and come out as gay you know what i'm saying if you're gay just come out if i was gay i would be feeling offended like hey you're using us and what we do to get to the top i'd be pissed but what do you guys think are these guys faking to keep their names in people's mouth and stay at the top of music or do they actually both worship the devil and they both are liking men now surprisingly out of nowhere Lil Uzi likes in his little butt <laughs> why you laugh at that like i should punch you in your fucking jaw 